Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Michael Stovall. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director for Student Athlete Development and Brand Awareness. Tonight, we come together as we move through Black History Month to talk about the issues at hand. So before we get started, I'd like for everyone to meet our panel. So, hey guys, I'm Avianati. Um, I'm from New Orleans uh, and I play volleyball. I'm Anaya, I'm from Tennessee, Georgia, and I play softball. So I'm Rashawn Lee, I'm from Parnico, Virginia, and I play football. Welcome everyone. So our first question for tonight, will just, uh, it'd, be, it'd be a general question. Um, what does it mean to you to be black? To be black to me means to be comfortable in your own skin. Like everybody, skin tones are basically just a skin tone. Like as a black person, I feel like it's a good trait to have your skin just because it's something that's personal to you. It's something that you can embrace and not something to be ashamed of. Um, for me, I think being black is like having um, a culture behind you, having something kind of propelling you forward, something to look to. It's kind of like, um, a type of, I mean, I, I feel like we always throw around the word excellence, but it's just kind of like, uh, a lot of people rooting for you, um, the commute within the community, especially, um, rooting for you to be great. Always thinking that you can rise above anywhere you are. So I think that's what being black is being. Um, I, I agree with them. You know, I feel like being black, the culture is very broad and the influence that we have on, you know, like pop culture is very heavy and everything that we do is very, you know, magnified and replicated. So I feel being black is something you should be proud of and feel feel happy about being yourself. So that's how I feel about being black. Yeah, I think I'd add, like, I feel like for the culture, I feel like this can be a negative and a bad thing, but in the positive light, it's like when one of us does something great, it means that we can all do something great. Sometimes it's hard, though, because in some situations, it can be like one person um, is always kind of, they make it sometimes we can make it to where like one wrong made by somebody that looks like us is a wrong for the entire community but in the positive sometimes it's like when one of us gets into a room it's we can all get into that room now yeah i would agree with that and something that can go along with the culture aspect is like change like she said as a group we kind of strong as a group so like culture and like igniting change is like part of being black black is beautiful for our next question, we'll delve into more of what you do best and what what got you here. So for you, what does it mean to be a black student athlete? Well, for me, being a black student athlete, you know, being able to represent my culture and my family with my name on the back, playing in the field is something that I endear very, I, I treat it very serious. Um, I also think um, just the community of the black community and playing sports is always, it's held higher than other things and they're always there to you know, build you up, lift you up in all your failings or in your success, and they're always there to cheer for you. So I feel like being a black student athlete is, is great because you always have someone behind you to hold you up, and you're always ready to, you know, get your things off. I would agree with Vershawn. Coming from a small town, like, in a white predominant high school and things like that, being a black student athlete, especially at a big Division One university, I would explain it as inspiring just because, like you said, you got people behind you, you got people rooting for you, you're inspiring young kids showing them what you can do no matter what color you are or where you're from yeah and <clears throat> kind of going off what you said for me because i play a predominantly white sport too um being a black student athlete means like kind of letting people know that like you can be here especially for the young little girls like my favorite things is one of my favorite things is when the little girls come to the game and they're just so excited and you know they want to like get us to sign things or they want to take pictures with us um and of course they want to talk to the whole team, but like specifically when they see somebody that looks like them and, you know, I'll have my braids in, sometimes I'll have like, you know, the colors in my hair and I'll like let them like choose like, oh, what color am I going to do next? Like it, those like fun things that they can feel like, okay, not only does she look like me, but she does her hair like me. Um, she plays like me, like things like that. Um, so that's really important to me, being a black student athlete and kind of figuring out kind of like understanding how to navigate a situation and like navigating the fact that like yes I play a predominantly white sport at a predominantly white institution and you know playing club or like you know starting out playing club or in high school you don't see a lot of people that look like you that play the sport so it's navigating you know 
figuring out like how I feel like I can interact, how I can react compared to other people or how I can, you know, address certain things or because, you know, sometimes like, at, you know, when you're getting excited after a game or like you want to point, you like want to go in, and, you know, so my team's are like, yay. So it's, you know, figuring out how to like, OK, is that OK? Like, can I be myself or is this do I need to like be more like how everybody else is cheering and figuring stuff like that? So, you know, if I'm doing it on a big stage, um, then it lets the little girls know that they can do it in their club teams or in their high school teams or in their backyard if you're just playing with some friends that like you can just like be yourself and yeah i have about something that also playing predominantly white sport i see saying there are a lot of different voices on our team i think being a black student athlete allows us to have a unique voice and it's good for like she said young girls that come to our games and see people like us but it's also good for like even the older generation or like people that are older us to see that we are willing to speak up in our sport and things like that. Well, piggybacking off of that, is there a certain responsibility that comes with being a black student meth? I think it's unfortunate. I feel like it's more of like a pressure that you have to kind of be a certain type of way so that, cause you know, we are on a large stage which means we can go under scrutiny. We're like in the public eye. So as much as we're like trying to show up for the little kids that look like us and showing the adults that kind of paved the way for us that we're still here and that we're still making these great strides that they open the doors for, it does open ourselves up to a lot of pressure of, again, that feeling like what you do affects how everybody sees the entire community. So sometimes it is hard. Um, you might see like black student athletes that um, maybe do something that's not um, something that everybody would agree with um, or do something that everybody would do. And sometimes that type of scrutiny can really negatively impact the black community because, again, one person's, it's like a domino effect. One person slips up, it all, almost affects everybody. Um, so it is a responsibility to kind of like, of course, uphold a standard and like be a role model, but it can be a lot of pressure that you always feel like you kind of need to be on or be a certain type of way to make sure that you are showing up for all of us.